What's up my friends? Welcome to New View Tech Review. My name is David Gelly, and today we are going to talk about what to expect with Google's new 2018 Pixel flagship. So let's get to it. So I think it's safe to say that the next Pixel flagship will be called the Google Pixel 3. According to a source from Droid Life, there are three new devices in the works. Code names have been reported to be Crosshatch, Elbacore, and Blue Line. As to what any of those code names actually mean, no one knows for sure, but it does look like we can expect a larger lineup of models than previous years. Now, two of the three devices are reported to be premium devices, such as the Pixel 2 and the Pixel 2 XL, while the third would potentially fall into either the high-end category or even possibly the mid-tier, more affordable range to better compete with companies such as OnePlus. According to a report by Android Police, Google's new operating system includes a redesigned status bar to fit a notched size gap in the middle of the icons. This, almost without a doubt, means that we can expect to see a notch on at least one of the Google Pixel 3 variants. But whether you love or hate the notch, it does mean that we get more screen and less bezels, which I don't know about you, but I'm personally a huge fan of. And to further confirm that Google is embracing the notch in their next lineup, we have a leaked image of some screen protectors that are apparently for the new flagships. It looks like the smaller version will slim the bezels on the sides while keeping a large chin and forehead as we saw on the Pixel 2, and the larger version seems to move on to the trend of reducing the bezels to practically nothing, but in doing so, throwing all the sensors into the unibrow looking notch. And thanks to the online blog phone arena, we now have some renders based off of the screen protector designs to give us a better idea of what these devices will look like. And I've gotta say, if this is what we can expect them to look like, then please, somebody sign me up right now. Anyone. Please. As for actual upgrades, we should expect to see better front-facing speakers from Google as they have now acquired the HTC branch that helped design and manufacture previous Pixel models for $1.1 billion. HTC is known for their front-facing speakers and rich audio, so it's very likely that we'll see Google invest further into upgrading their audio. Though I doubt that we'll see the headphone jack return on the Pixel 3 since last year's model ditched the beloved 3.5mm port. Moving on to internal components, we will more than likely get the Snapdragon 845 CPU paired with 6GB of RAM and Android P running the show. Both Pixel 2 models came with Qualcomm's 835 CPU and 4GB of RAM, so it's pretty much expected for Google to improve performance in these areas. As for battery capacity, we might see a slight increase in size from the 2700 and 3520 milliamps that we saw on last year's models. But most companies these days seem to be more focused on optimizing performance rather than increasing battery sizes, which makes sense considering that most flagships have a sleek design and limited space internally. Also, I wouldn't count on Google to include expandable storage in the Pixel 3. They didn't provide it in last year's models, and with them pushing Google Photos, memory doesn't seem to be as big of an issue as it once was. Therefore, why include it when they could use all the space that they can get for upgrading other pieces of hardware? And last but not least, the display. It's no secret that Google had issues with screen burn-in, blue shift, and lack of vibrance on the Pixel 2, mainly the XL. But this year, we should expect to see Google pay extra attention to their displays. If Google wants to have the top Android phone and compete with Apple, they will need to come back strong this year and show fans that they fixed any issues in the manufacturing process and software that were contributing to the unreliable displays. But honestly, in my opinion, the Pixel 2 XL had the best display I've ever used. The natural tones paired with an incredibly sharp display were a nice refreshing take on OLED panels, and I hope that Google keeps the good things that the Pixel 2 had to offer while at the same time upgrading resolution and simply preventing past issues. According to a source, the Pixel 3 is expected to be unveiled in October, which would be consistent with the release date of the Pixel 2 on October 19th of last year. It's also been reported that Google plans on releasing second gen Pixel Buds as well as a smartwatch. So be sure to keep your eyes peeled for any leaks in these next few months leading up to Google's October hardware event. All right, everyone, this brings me to the question of the day. What are your thoughts on these latest rumors and do you think the Pixel 3 will be enough to contend with the other top 2018 flagships? Let me know in the comments section down below. That's all I had for you today, my friends. I hope you enjoyed this Pixel 3 rumor update. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more content. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.